Prayer at the Lincoln Memorial. Fraternity, charity, justice. You shoot me with these words, you great orator. They fragment my skull and you know it. You were a calculated marksman. You walked in the bloody fields after the battle, collecting lead from the dead. You washed off their gore and their age and their youth and their wisdom and folly and their pig-headedness and dedication. But even you couldn't wash out their blood. So you steeped those bullets in it instead, didn't you? And you took certain aim at the survivors and the widows and the children and the sober gentlemen out on the battlefield. From the cannon of your mouth came no death. Life you discharged in bright crimson blooms, deafening the ears of your audience or unstopping them. This is the news from outside. They have new firearms now, the gentlemen. And I hate to say it, but children live in battlefields marked by no armies, no cavalry, no infantry, no generals, no terms of peace, in what's called urban war zones by those who know best. My prayer is plain, Mr. President, that acrid smoke issue from your gun, explode this marble tomb, and blast a world wide open. When I think of the class of 1997, I guess I have to go back until the time when you were in eighth grade, because when you guys were in eighth grade, I was a brand new principal, and on the very first couple of days of school, one of our class had an accident, was hit by a driver uh, from the high school. And I remember uh, thinking, what's going to happen after this point in terms of being a principal? But mostly I think of the class of 1997. I think of um, saying goodbye to friends, um, saying goodbye to people who came over from Timberlane, people who came in from various sundry places across the country and across the state and seeing tremendous growth in each and every one of you, socially, intellectually, academically, athletically, but most in the sense of becoming uh, true adults, people who are responsible, people who are giving, people who are caring. And when we say goodbye on hopefully June 17th, if it doesn't rain, uh, I will once again feel that I'm saying goodbye to, uh, to a whole bunch of friends and to a whole bunch of very, very good memories. I think I've had the opportunity to get to know most of you and to have some kind of conversation with each and every one of you. And I think I, that's a special gift from you to me, and I thank you for that. Uh, I wish you all a lot of luck, and uh, I believe that uh, unlike a lot of people that our community and our state and our nation are going to be in really great hands when you take over the reins of responsibility, um, I will miss you guys deeply because you've grown a lot, and I thank you for that. Thank you, Mr. Oliver. Um, and thank you, Karen Nakbar, for that wonderful poem. Good morning, and welcome to Hopewell Valley Central High School. Before I introduce our panelists, I'd just like to say a quick word uh, about our program. We've gathered an exceptional group of students, both as panelists and in our audience. Um, they've achieved all kinds of great things, um, both scholastically, academically, uh, in the community, community service, and in the workplace. Um, They've agreed to come here and share their memories with us, and I hope you enjoy sharing the memories as much as I have enjoyed working with these people over the last four years. Um, before um, we move on, let me just, we agreed to ask a question of, of a general question that all of them could answer, and then we'll let each panelist take their turn answering the question before we open it up to the audience. The question that we, we thought would be best is, if you look back on your high school careers, what would you say were the most meaningful experiences you had at Hopewell Valley? Um, to answer these questions will be Mr. Donald Leak, Mr. Tom Jackson, Ms. Andrea Hutnick, and Ms. Liz Petruska. Donald, why don't we start with you? Um, I guess looking back, I'd have to say the most meaningful experiences I have were the ones that I really, really immersed myself in. I mean, from freshman year on, because I've only been here for four years. Um, I can still think back to the first play day when I was a freshman, to the first poem I put into literary magazine. I can still see it as clearly as, as, as if it happened yesterday. 
Um, I mean, the more I got, got involved and the more um, I loved what I was doing, the more I could, I don't know, it just it had an impact on me. I mean, everything affected me differently. It just depended on, on I don't know, how the experience varied for what people did, but depended on what I did and, I mean, how I grew here and how I changed here. And I didn't know a lot of things. I didn't do a lot of things that I'm doing now when I first started here. And, I mean, um, again, writing, acting, whatever, I mean, the different endeavors you could get involved in and I got involved in. Um, each meant a lot to me individually. It meant a lot to me as a whole so it's helped me grow and change. Yeah, thank you, Donald. Tom? Uh, some of my most meaningful experiences have been uh, through class activities. I think back of uh, when we did the floats and everything and how we'd go to like Farley Guaz's house or Jackie's house and we'd spend, you know, 20, uh, way too much time building a float that we really should. <laughs> but but in the end, you know, we'd, we'd be really proud of it on homecoming, and we spent all that time together, you know, 11 o'clock at night when we should have been doing homework, we never did. But we came in early at half days. And that kind of stuff, you know, it doesn't sound like the greatest thing, oh, we didn't build a float, but it was really fun. And, you know, we'd pick up garbage sometimes, too. It kind of sounds boring now, but at the time it was really fun and uh, really <laughs> meaningful uh, to me. Thank you, Tom. Andrea? Um, probably uh, one of the most meaningful experiences of high school was uh, being able to participate in the co-op work program that works with uh, the marketing classes. It allowed me to go to school half day, get out there in the work field, and they try to put you in a situation where you think it might be a career that you want to pursue. Um, I got to get a chance to go out there, learn about um, the mortgage banking business, which I thought I wanted to do. but. Now, after working there for a whole year, I decided it's not what I want to do, and I just think it's a really great program, just if you want to get outside the high school's four walls, and if you're not really school-oriented like I am, I'd rather be out there working and sort of hands-on experience, so I really had a great opportunity to do that. Great. Thank you, Andrew. Liz? Um, I don't really think there's one specific experience that is the most memorable. I've just really enjoyed my past four years of high school. And I think it's the total high school experience that's really been a lot of fun. Um, I've been involved in a lot of activities as have like all the people sitting here and each one has meant a lot to me. Um, I've been involved in class things and like Tom was talking about, homecoming is just like a real, a great example of the unity in our class and how much fun we have coming together to build the float or um, being on the sports teams and just like the thrill of playing in a homecoming game and knowing that like the whole community's like watching you. And there's just like a lot of support for everyone um, who's involved in anything in the school through the musicals, which I've done, um, the choruses and the different clubs. And I've just really enjoyed being a part of this class because I really think we've grown together over the past four years and have really become close through the different activities we've done. And that's really what's made high school special for me. Thank you, Liz. All right, we'd now like to open up the program to members of our audience. Um, there's a lot of you out there, so please feel free to get up and share your experiences. It's not everybody, you know, it's not fight for that microphone. <laughs> Okay, we're going to sort of do a, a tag team here. Uh, we, we were asked to uh, come and speak a few words about uh, this, the, uh, some of the science activities that were available to us. And I, I'm really proud of uh, what we've done through, especially Mrs. Yeomans, a, a really brilliant teacher, mm. because we've really opened up some, some really good new <laughs> activities to, to the school that I, I want to talk to you all about today, particularly uh, the first competition. Now, many, many people don't know what that is. We all just called it the robot thing. But uh, it's actually for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. <coughs> so uh, Mrs. Yeoman, she was like uh, watching ESPN, and she sees this, uh, this program with these robots running around uh, gobbling up balls and throwing them in a, a big bin. And she's like, wow, that seems like something we could do. So she called up uh, the Princeton Plasma Physics Lab, and we got uh, uh, this, this guy named, what was his name? Nagy. Yeah, N Alex Nagy. Nagy. Yeah, so he runs the uh, tokamak in the, during the day. And in the afternoon, he had about uh, 10, 15 students making this, uh, this, bi this big robot, in the, which we took to the uh, local competition at uh, 
Rutgers, I think. Yes. Maybe you want to just take it away, John. No, it's just something. It's a it was a great experience in uh, teamwork and and learning to work together and learning engineering principles and uh, you know it's uh, you're interested in it and you're working together as a team and and you get a lot done and you can feel really proud of it. And it's one of the lesser known activities, but we think it was really worth our while. And I'd like to say a little bit about the. Uh, competition maybe yeah we're, so. we're just really glad to have uh, opened up this uh, opportunity to the, to uh, people next year because it's it was really a great experience to be able to uh, to work together and make an incredible design and then put it into practice with a robot you know three by three this thing running around with uh, anyway so we went to this competition and really our robot didn't stack up at all <laughs> it was all made out of wood and everyone else's way made out of machined metal so we were destroyed basically uh, we hung ourselves yeah. but uh, we we uh, we're in the we, middle we third. What we could have used was uh, some support from our class, you know. Like, <laughs> nobody came. It was just <laughs> us. <laughs> you know, when, when people are supposed to cheer, it's like two people jump up. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but really J John and I were really happy <laughs> <laughs> about the whole experience just because we, we were able to really work a problem out. So when our, yeah. our robot would go out onto the field and be just literally smashed to pieces <laughs> by, by one of these, these steel contraptions, we could come back, we could work as a team to try to salvage it for the next round. And we would. Where we would be just destroyed again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so our science activities have been really enlightening. We learn how to recoup from utter failure and uh, I think that that's what's important, being, being able to be e adaptive mm -hmm. and use your imagination yeah. and so I'm really happy to say that yeah. uh, science programs and activities have really made my experience especially senior year uh, a vibrant one as well as mine and I met a lot of new interesting people as well yeah okay thank but you thank guys. you thanks Sean John. <laughs> you know it's a hard act to follow but we're somebody like it. <laughs> thank you rich um, well, I kind of want to talk about how, like, I interacted with teachers and stuff, and stuff, um, because, <laughs> because, I mean, I'm in calculus now, and I know I had to take an algebra course to get there, but I don't remember much about that, but I remember who my teacher was, and I know, especially here, there have been a, a lot of teachers who actually do uh, give a holler about, like, what the kids do and what they think, and for the most part, I feel I've been treated like an adult even if I'm just learning how to be one. And it seems that in the community, when they talk about like budgets and stuff like that, it, it goes down to your tax dollars at work, but it's, it's more than that. I mean, the teachers bring a, a living, breathing face to your education and to everyone's education. And I think that, uh, I think I benefited from having such caring people uh, teaching me the ropes. Thanks, Rich. Hi, I'm here to talk about Mold UN and not just eat up dead time. Um, <laughs> you know, I came to the school four years ago, well, just like everyone else, I guess. And, um, you know, I came to school, I was new to this country, and, uh, you know, I didn't know many people, but the amount of clubs and sports this school offers um, was really amazing and allowed me to get into a, you know, get into something where I could work with other people and really get to know people, and that's great, but I'm here to talk about Mold UN and not all the other stuff. And, um, I joined Mold UN uh, sophomore year, and you know I could really say it's a great experience. We are already the largest club in the school, but we would really like more people. And uh, trying not to sound like an advertisement for Mold UN here, I mean, um, here's an opportunity where you get to go out and you get to talk with other people, you get to meet with other people, you get to yell at other people, you get to lie to other people, you get to cheat to other people, just like real politics. And um, you know, I feel that. If you're really interested in speaking, uh, maybe if, if you, even if you don't like speaking in front of a crowd, um, you can go up there and you can talk. And I'm just waffling on here, but you know I feel that if you are looking for a club and um, for something to do and something to talk about, I have to recommend Mold UN because really it's a lot of fun. And I'll sit down now. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Um, I was going to talk about class activities, as Liz and Tom did. Um, I've had a great opportunity to be involved with the class. 
I'm the historian of the class, and I've traced our class's history over the last four years. Um, you've all heard about the book. Um, I've been <laughs> taking pictures for the past four years, and I've compiled them, and actually it's grown to three books now um, of our class, different activities, sports. Um, I've also kept track of all you in the news, and I have books on that. Everyone who had their picture in the paper or a sentence about them in the paper, I, I have that. And to all the future classes, I would encourage you to get involved with class activities because I've learned a lot, and I've learned about everyone in our class, and it's a terrific opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. I came here three years ago, kind of on the edge of like when a lot of different people from a lot more areas were starting to come into Hopewell and the school was starting to grow a little bit more. And over the past three years, I, I've seen a lot of incidences of discrimination, you know, of a lot of prejudices that have gone on around this school because of, you know, the school's growth and a lot of new students coming in and changes in the student body. And it's after three years, it you haven't seen the change that I hoped I would see after three years. Um, I know that now the school is starting to take a more active role. Um, clubs like Erase have started up and people are starting to try and attack the problem. And I just hope that, you know, four years from now when my sister graduates that she can stand up here and start to say that we've come an even greater way than we did when my brother graduated. Um, so I guess that's kind of a memory I'll take with me that, you know, in a small way, you know, my class was kind of the ones that kind of started to deal with a problem that a lot of schools have, but we're just beginning to learn about. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Any more brave souls out there? Mr. Green, we talk about the hockey team. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess some of my most memorable experiences have been on playing on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 I've been playing on the athletic teams and especially the ice hockey team. I mean, I went out as a freshman, real scared, all upset about what was going to happen to me, getting swirlies and all sorts of tortures. But I mean, uh, it really worked out and it was fun. I'm glad I did it. I made a lot of friends. I mean, a group of individuals went out and became a team. And it just teaches you a lot about the subtleties in life that you can really carry with you. And uh, super. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> All right, I'm Mike. And uh, I don't really know what to talk about. I guess I could talk about the tennis team, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody really wants to hear about that. So. I'd just like to say I've had a good time these past four years, you know. It's been nice knowing all of you. And <laughs> I, I think we have the best darn class in the school. <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> about art. same place but we all started going the same direction but uh, I found I kind of found my place found my neck uh, in the arts acting on the stage I don't know Millie here uh, um, it's music and I've 
pretty much been in chorus and orchestra ever since you could, you know. Yeah. Um, that's All the experiences in that field have got to be the most important things that's happened to me um, throughout my four years of high school. They're, they're uncountable, like they're more important to me than, than <laughs> anything, you know. Um, so I don't need to rant and rave about them and go on about them, but that's what I took from my four years at Hopewell, and I'm very proud of it. Yeah, it's interesting, because I don't know, after four years, it's kind of like a part of you, like advanced course, for example. Like, It's not exactly like I really enjoy, well, I do enjoy it, but it's <laughs> kind of more like a part of you, and it makes you enjoy it more, you know? Like, yeah. it's not exactly the class itself, it's just like, I don't know. I like singing. <laughs> it, it gives you the opportunity to take away from it what you want, and just the people that find their place to do that. It's just, it's, it's remarkable. Yeah. And that's you. it. Thank you. Um, my name is Hannah Walden. Um, everyone's talking a lot about various activities they participated in that really made their experience um, whole and complete. And I think that that was all part of it, you know, working with the literary magazine, being part of orchestra and choruses and the musicals and athletics. It's all been really important. But I think what has shaped me most are, you know, individual teachers and students who have befriended me, who have kind of guided me along the way. People like Dr. Vogel and Ms. Cullinane, Mr. Sattler, who's helping our class, like, incredibly a lot. And, you know, Doc, who just, you know, gives so much time, you know, throughout all of his own personal problems. He really, like, gives of himself. And just, like, our whole class is really made up of so many diverse and rich people. And I think the, the thing I'm going to remember is just, you know, how scared I was freshman year to, like, you know, be myself. And this year I'm just, I'm, like, ready to go out and conquer things because of all of you and because of teachers who are, you know, just incredible. So thank you. Hi, I'm Allison Walker, and um, there have been a lot of experiences these past four years, but uh, two of them that really stick out in my mind um, are the two successful petition drives and uh, the Spain exchange. Um, through the petition drives, I was able to see that people can make a difference in our government and the way it works. Um, and I also learned how to actually petition and talk to people and find out um, others' views on things and the overwhelming support from the uh, class and NHS. And um, so the two petition drives were a big part of uh, the last couple of years, anyway, for me. Um, and the Spain exchange was a big experience as well. Um, having a student who didn't speak any English or didn't want to, um, that was kind of a shock for me, but I did learn a lot more about the Spanish language or what I thought I knew. Um, and also going over to Spain too, um, viewing their culture, their language, um, you know, that kind of thing. So my, you know, I really grew and broadened with those two experiences, but I mean, there are many more experiences and I could go on all day about them, but um, those are the two that really stood out in my mind. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, having said my bit from all you in, I'd just like to talk to the from the heart right now. The most memorable thing about this class that I remember, you know, hasn't been the great times. It's, it's been the times where we've had problems, you know, turmoil, strife, um, despair. Like, for example, recently uh, when Bucky died, or earlier when Jeff died, or, you know, that whole Preppies Freaks newsletter incident before that, or uh, block scheduling, through these periods of, you know, despair, the class has really, you know, gelled together. I mean, while other people might have, you know, really fallen apart or, you know, started infighting, especially, you know, when the class was split, or the, indeed the school was split, like the whole Preppies Freaks thing, you know, the, c the class really didn't go, it gelled together, and I think that's really important that, you know, we kind of raised, we became adults, as it were, in that we, we realized that, you know, we've got to stick together, especially, you know, in periods of fun like that. And just like to sit down. Thanks. Thank you. I 
really remember when I came here four years ago how um, I was completely scared. I came from another state, I mean, middle of nowhere, Midwest of Wisconsin, and I didn't know anybody. I mean, I knew cows, I knew cheese, I didn't know people here, though. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that first day of freshman orientation, I just kind of sat off on myself because I didn't know a single person here. And within like a week of, of school starting, I knew people because, I mean, um, our class had opened up and welcomed me in and just kind of accepted me for who I am. And that really made a difference because I could have been um, an outsider for four years. I mean, some schools were not like that, and it wasn't the case, and it really, really uh, made an impact on me. Thanks, Tom. We have time for about probably two, maybe three more speakers. So if you are waiting to share some memories with us, please don't hesitate. Well, I'd just like to say um, something to the class and just that I'm proud of like every single person who's a member of this class. There are so many numerous achievements that everyone has um, accomplished and we've really worked together to achieve things for ourselves such as like our struggle with the board to get the senior trip passed and just everybody comes together and works for a goal and shows support for others when they've done something really great or had a great accomplishment and I don't think I can say that there's not one person who has had like a great accomplishment in our class and it just makes each and everyone special and just our class even more special as a whole. Great. Thanks again, Liz. <laughs> 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 All right, anybody else before we wrap up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Margaret. I'd just like to say that I have had a wonderful four years here, <laughs> and um, what I think I remember most is my numerous battles with the school board. The first it started with block scheduling, and I wasn't even actually on the school board then, but I remember though that we were supposed to get block scheduling for our senior year, and that just would not happen while I was around. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember that, and then after that, we got a senior trip passed, and we could have gone. We didn't. That's beside the point. <laughs> and I wouldn't have been able to do anything, and we wouldn't have been able to ever be so successful in trying to get what we wanted if all of you hadn't really tried to make all of our experiences the best that we could have had. And I just think that it's really great that we all were able to work together in those times. That's all. <laughs> Um, I'll keep this short because I think we might be running low on time. But um, one thing I think that we owe a lot of thanks to is um, our class officers for the last four years. Because I think in the last five years, I guess all the way through eighth grade, I mean, they've done a lot of work for us. I know that, like, well, I, I ran four years, lost every year. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it was all fun. So, I mean, the speeches, like, I saw speeches this year. And, I mean, we always had fun in our speeches. Like, we had people who would have a good time with it with hand puppets and <laughs> things of the sort. And we always tried to make everything that we did fun, which I think was one great thing about our class. We weren't always like so dosh, doggone serious about everything that like it ruined it. So I think we owe a lot of thanks to them. And we had a lot of fun through the elections and stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, well that's all the time we have. Um, I'd just like to say in closing, as you can see, um, y the class of 1997 at Hopewell Valley is an ex extremely exceptional class. A uh, wonderful group of young men and women who have accomplished a lot. Um, I'd like to thank our panelists for coming and volunteering their time and speaking, and the audience. You guys did a great job. I'd also like to thank Mr. Flagel, who kind of organized this whole thing, and we'll get this on the airways. Um, so I'd like to say thank you and goodbye.
I, I think we have the best darn class in the school. <laughs> I, I think we have the best darn class in the school. <laughs> trip is a good idea. I think it could be a lot of fun. And I think that if everyone participates, it'll be cool. But otherwise, it could end up being a big flub. It's going to be a lot of fun because we'll all be together as one big happy family. Punished for it? I think it should be bringing a parent's permission slip and no matter what you go, it shouldn't be a school board's decision. this class. There are so many numerous achievements that everyone has um, accomplished and we've really worked together to achieve things for ourselves such as like our struggle with the board to get the senior trip passed. And just everybody comes together and works for a goal and shows support for others when they've done something really great or had a great accomplishment. And Darling, I, I can't explain.